Hi everybody, I'm Dave Fox with Globejotting.com in Pokhara, Nepal. Just a few hours left in 2014 and uh, just wanted to wish you all a happy new year. I've been traveling in Nepal for the last couple of weeks with my favorite wife, Katina, who is holding the camera right now. Say hi, Katina, from behind the camera. Hi, Katina, from behind the camera. And uh, we've had an amazing trip. I, I, it's, we tried to shoot this earlier. We had some technical problems. I don't know if you can see at all uh, in this light as, as the last few uh, minutes of light for 2014 start to fade away, but we've got the Himalayas behind us, and uh, we have these incredible sunsets here when the light hits them. Uh, our trip overall has been fantastic. We started in Kathmandu. It is a crazy, frenetic city uh, from uh, Kathmandu. Uh, we took a day trip to uh, the town of Bhaktapur, which is, uh, it's, it's everything in Bhaktapur is made out of bricks. All of the buildings are made out of bricks. The temples are built from bricks. The streets are paved in bricks. And the whole city has this sort of brick-colored hue to it. And uh, just an amazing photogenic place to walk around and people watch. From uh, Vaktapur, uh, we, uh, well, that was a day trip from Kathmandu. We then uh, moved on to uh, a town called Sohara, Sohara. Uh, which I think I'm pronouncing that right. It is um, on the outskirts of Chitwan National Park, a jungle area in the Nepali lowlands near the Indian border. And uh, we had a, a couple of days there where we just relaxed and I caught up on some writing. Uh, and uh, from there we then took a two-day trek through the jungle looking for wildlife. Uh, I got to see a rhino's butt. It was great. I saw it for like two seconds and then it ran away. Um, and uh, But we, we had a great trip through the jungle. Um, we uh, the, the highlight of that trip for me was that we stayed at a homestay. We stayed in basically a family's home in a tiny remote village of about 200 people. And it's about as uh, deep into culture shock as you can go, but just an incredible uh, experience to to stay with a family like that for a couple of days um, and I have lots of stories on globejotting.com right now more stories that I'm working on about this whole trip um, but we are now here in Pokhara uh, it's about six hours left in 2014 and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head out into the streets and we are going to see how the Nepali people celebrate New Year's Eve let's go <laughs> minutes to eight and uh, people have already whipped themselves into a frenzy. They are dancing in the streets. There's a band playing traditional Nepali music and it's getting pretty rambunctious out here. Namaste. I love this. They've got open fires out on the street. This would be so illegal in the United States. But you can just stop at the sidewalk for a minute and warm your hands. Crush of people right now on the street. Yeah, of course. Oh yeah. Yeah, happy new year. Happy new year. Of course. We'll see next 2072. 2072. Uh, that'll be a good Nepali, year. Nepali year. All right. Get Thank you, my friend. Nepal. Happy new year. Check this out, we just found the 2014 restaurant and bar. We're wondering, do 
they close forever at midnight? Are they going to change their name? What's going to happen? So bro, you having fun? Yeah. I'm having lots of fun. Are you having fun? Yeah, bro. Can you explain what's with the, the devil horns? Everybody has devil's you horns. Want, you want one? No, but okay, but, but it's but, okay, dig it. Well, thank you. <laughs> Wait, can you video? I'm, I'm making a video, a travel video. It's okay. Yeah? It's what's your name? It's Gagan. Ga Gagan? Yeah. yeah Gagan. This is my new friend Gagan. He just gave me these devil's horns that everybody's wearing on the street here. But Hello. Gagan, tell me, why is, is there a significance to these? Why is everybody wearing these? Devil. These are horns. Just for fun. Yeah. 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 Just for fun. Yeah. Sign up, devil. <laughs> All right. So, so you are the devil. devil. Ah! Happy New Year, my friend. Thank you so much. In advance. <laughs> All right, hey. Hey, hey, man. Happy New Year. Yeah. Happy What's New Year. Happy New Year. My name is Dave. What's your name? Dave. Good night. Dave. Yeah. 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 Who has joined me? It is globe trotting travel mascot extraordinaire, Mr. Sven Wondermoose, in the house. Hey, uh, it's going to be midnight here in just a few minutes, and when Nepal celebrates the new year, this is kind of a unique, it's a special place to be celebrating the new year because Nepal is the only country in the world will be that will be celebrating right at that moment. This country is on kind of a wonky time zone. It is five minutes and four, excuse me, five hours and 45 minutes ahead of Greenwich Mean Time, one of only two time zones in the world that is skewed by 45 minutes off of the standard 24 time meridians. And so it's kind of an exciting place to be celebrating the new year, and it is coming up in just a couple of minutes here in Nepal. Okay, everybody, it is time. Three, two, one. Nepal. Happy 2015. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you are having a fantastic celebration and I hope you have a very adventurous upcoming year. I've got lots of travel tales about our journey through Nepal on globejotting.com. Check it out. You'll also find some great travel writing courses if you want to learn how to write your own tales. Whatever you do, have a great year. Ah, my devil's horns are falling off. See, I'm not as satanic as I said. Uh, but anyway, Happy New Year uh, on behalf of my delightful wife behind the camera, Katina Rabdow Fox, and of course the globe trotting travel mascot, Sven Wondermoose, who is out celebrating in the crowd somewhere right now. I'm Dave Fox in Pokhara, Nepal. Cheers, happy 2015. Okay,